the indentured servant that signed the Declaration of Independence. Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is George Taylor. Now George Taylor went from indentured servant all the way up to founding father, and his journey is very curious. So at 20 years old, he signed up to be an indentured servant. And if you're not familiar, an indentured servant was someone who would basically sign themselves into slavery for a series of years in order to generally pay for their trip across the Atlantic Ocean. And George Taylor did this with a man named Samuel Savage. Samuel Savage was an iron worker, and while George was working for him, Samuel taught him the trade of iron working. It just so happens that about when George Taylor's servitude was ending, well, Samuel Savage passed away. Because of this, George Taylor took over operating his facility until Samuel's son was old enough to take over himself. Also, uh, George married Samuel's widow, Anne, which is curious. But moving on, uh, George Taylor then decided to lease out other facilities for ironworking from other very wealthy citizens of Pennsylvania. One of these was a man named Joseph Galloway. Now, I've spoken about Joseph Galloway before. He went to the First Continental Congress and actually proposed uh, the Galloway Plan of Union, which was essentially a new style of government, a little bit more radical than what actually came out of the First Continental Congress, which was basically the boycott of British goods. Now, a year later, when war broke out and people started talking about independence, Galloway was against independence and actually became a loyalist and fled to Britain. This worked out swimmingly for George Taylor, who was leasing an ironwork from Galloway, and now suddenly the Continental Congress took over that facility. Fortunately, Taylor was already making cannonballs for the Continental Army, so the Continental Congress essentially gave him this business. Again, worked out really well for him. <laughs> um, so... George Taylor then uh, supports independence, he always had. When independence was voted on, as I've said recently, many of the states removed people who voted against independence and replaced them with new delegates to the Continental Congress who were pro-independence. And for Pennsylvania, one of these new delegates was George Taylor. And George Taylor went in and first got to the Continental Congress in early August of 1776, just in time to sign the Declaration of Independence and forever get his name on that document. Now, Taylor only stayed in the Continental Congress for a few months. He was also himself replaced. He was really only there on a temporary basis as it is. But he actually ended up being voted into Pennsylvania's Supreme Executive Council. In the aftermath of independence, every separate state had to go create their own government. Pennsylvania did some very curious things. Uh, right about that time, which I highly recommend you look up. They had a unicameral legislature, had a president instead of a governor for a while, and for a little bit, they had the Supreme Executive Council, which was ex essentially a board uh, of instead of a governor or a president. Uh, and he served on that for a little bit, but then ill health forced him to retire. We're not sure what he got sick from, but he uh, did unfortunately end up passing away in early 1781 and, and never saw the Battle of Yorktown, never saw his work towards independence continue. But for the years he was sick, he did continue to operate his facility making cannon and other iron products for the Continental Army. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were inspired to go look up a little bit more about George Taylor. Again, a fascinating character. I'll put a link to the article I wrote about him in the description below as always. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. We have a live video on Wednesdays, aka tomorrow at 8.15. And I'll talk about all the articles I wrote for fatoftheday.com in the previous week. So I hope you join us. Thank you again so much for watching. And I will be back live tomorrow.